Welcome back everyone. My name is Mad Mike and today I will teach you how to take advantage of the Elgato Game Capture HD software by using the flashback recording feature provided in the program. The Elgato Game Capture HD has a video buffer that constantly records video while you play your game, similar to the PS4 recording feature. The obvious reason why the Elgato is a better alternative than the PS4 recording feature is because it allows the user to record at a nice 60 FPS and at a bitrate that is much higher than the PS4. The flashback recording feature provided in the software allows you to rewind and start recording from whenever you desire. The reason why I feel it is important that I share this tutorial with you all is because I've come across several Elgato users that are frustrated with the long hours that they spend sorting through literally hours and hours of footage and the massive amounts of memory their videos consume on their hard drives. I also believe that time is a crucial thing if you record and edit videos, so I'm going to save you an ass load of time. Let's get down to how to use the damn thing, shall we? Let's make sure that our settings are set to what we want them. First, click on the gear icon located on the top right corner of the software, just under the Game Capture HD logo. A window named Game Capture HD Preferences should appear. Here you will see where your videos will be saved. I recommend you save your files in a solid state drive or in the drive that your software resides. This will help with faster conversion of the video, which is something I'll discuss later in the video. Assure that enable flashback recording is checked. Otherwise, the flashback recording feature will not work. Now navigate to the next tab titled sharing. The following is optional but recommended. Make sure that always convert new videos to mp4 file is checked. The purpose of this feature is literally what it reads. It will convert the original output MPEG format video files into a complete MP4 format video. The Elgato Game Capture HD60 exports MPEG video that is limited to only 489 megabytes per file and it stores it in really messy folders. So if you have a ridiculously long video file, you guessed it, you're going to have many files that you'll need to sort through and in the end you're going to have to import a bulk ton of files into your editing software. YouTube also compresses your video to mp4 format. If you upload a file that already shares the same format as what YouTube wants, you'll save more time in the upload process. So make sure it's checked. All other items in this tab of the window are optional and may be addressed in a future video. Next, select OK and exit out of the window and navigate to the tools icon on the right section of the window located in the device section. Select that and a new window will appear. You should have a window titled Game Capture HD Settings. Under the tab Capture, make sure your quality, otherwise known as bitrate, is set to something reasonable. Don't be recording at 40 megabits per second when YouTube will only display 6 megabits per second after it compresses your video. You're consuming way too much memory to achieve that quality that will only be compressed once you process it for upload, which will just waste your time. Unless you're doing some serious editing such as motion tracking or Buju, you don't really need anything higher than 9 megabits per second. I record at 20 megabits per second for advanced reasons. I'll discuss more about bit rates in a future video. Also, make sure that you check Allow 60 FPS so that you can display your smooth gameplay on YouTube now that it supports 1080p 60 FPS. Depending on your project, you may want this off, but it's all user preference. I will put out a video in the future going more into detail with this topic. Go ahead and select OK and exit out the window. Great! Now we're ready to use flashback recording. If you focus on the bottom of the Game Capture HD window, you'll notice a dark gray box displaying a timer and how much free storage you have available in whatever drive you are saving your footage. The timer shows how long it's been recording or how long your video buffer is. This is how long you can rewind your footage also. On the left side of this box, you will see a long blue line with a knob attached to the right end of it. This is your adjustment knob. Use this knob whenever you have to make bold adjustments. Note that this blue line is not proportionate to how long you've been recording. If you have been recording for an hour, a small adjustment might equal to 5 or 10 minutes versus if you've only recorded for 20 minutes, a small adjustment would only equal 1 minute. If you haven't pressed capture recently, I recommend you restart the program every once in a while to restart the buffer time to avoid this potential issue. 
if you want to make small adjustments, I also recommend you use the reverse, pause, and forward, and live icons on the bottom of the blue bar to ease a video to your desired moment. Once you've discovered the point in which you want to begin recording, select the big red capture button on the bottom left of the screen. When you do this, the program will understand that you want to capture from that point on and it will add it to your video in addition to your live feed. The video will not complete until you reselect the capture button. So if you only want to record the moment you just witnessed, press the capture button, wait a few seconds for it to redirect you to the live feed and reselect capture to stop recording. Unless of course you want to continue recording, then just let it be. Do not immediately exit the software after completing the video. When you finish a capture, you will notice that the Elgato Game Capture icon on your taskbar displays a vertical green bar as if you were transferring files. This bar indicates that the software is converting the MPEG format files into one MP4 format file. Let the conversion complete before exiting, otherwise you will find corrupt files in your export folder. And that's it! You successfully use a Game Capture HD flashback recording feature. Now go save some awesome clips and time. I hope you learned something new or at least I helped you better understand how the software works. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or even anything that you'd like to see in a future video, please leave it in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you all have a great and productive day and until next time, Mad Mike out.